Hey guys, this is the Auto Enthusiast, and today we're looking at the Ford F-150 Raptor. We're going to do a startup interior review and a test drive. Stay tuned. I just wanted to thank Tony down at Besma Motors in Norwood, Mass for providing us with this Raptor to review today. It's a great dealership with a great staff. The 2012 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor has a 6.2 liter V8 engine. It produces 411 horsepower and 434 pounds per feet of torque. It is a four-wheel drive and gets 11 miles to the gallon in the city and 16 on the highway. The 2012 actually gets 2 miles to the gallon more on the highway than older models. It goes 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. The 2012 has a new Torsen front differential that actually increases the grip. This truck has a 6-speed automatic transmission. It has a curb weight of 6,000 pounds and a payload capacity of 1,090 pounds, and it has a towing capacity of just around 6,000 pounds. The Ford F-150 SVT Raptor is one of the most attractive trucks out there. The Raptor is wider than both the normal F-150 and the Super Duty. It is well engineered, very attractive, and has many aesthetic touches that make it unique. Ford has not only done a good job making a truck that is fun to drive, but one that stands out from your normal, boring, garden variety truck. The Ford F-150 SVT Raptor is not only offered in the black exterior like this model, but in an array of sporty, stylish, and aggressive colors. The doors are quite heavy and large. The back door can be opened by a lever exposed after the front door has been opened. One thing that I disliked about the doors was the way they closed. They didn't feel fluid and made a lot of noise closing. The interior is very spacious and is actually pretty attractive, at least with most trucks. Ford has focused on the basics while designing this interior. They definitely focused on simple and normal layouts, and that was definitely high on their checklist while designing it. This is our cameraman Gustavo, and he is going to get into the back seat. He is 5 foot 8 and average build. Legroom is limited, but there is a lot of headroom and armroom. The seats are not uncomfortable, but they aren't anything special. The doors are very simple and have only basic controls. Uh, there is actually a speaker on the door that is actually hard to tell that it's a speaker, which is a nice feature. The overall layout and feel of the buttons, dials, and controls is nice. The display is large and has great picture quality. All of the buttons and dials do not feel cheap. The shifter isn't great. It functions, but is really outdated. The gauges are pretty standard. They are similar to most trucks. There is actually a nice and useful display in the middle that gives key information to the driver. The wheel is large and bulky, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It fits the overall feel of the interior. To turn the car on, one must turn a key. This is not a push to start. The overall space in the car is actually pretty good, but the glove compartment is actually pretty small, which is not what I expected because everything else is pretty large in this car. The cup holders are pretty standard, and there is a spot on the uh, center console that you can put stuff. I wasn't really sure what the function of that was, um, but the best part of this car is the armrest compartment. This is massive. There is a tray piece that goes over it, but the overall space under that, where the manual of the car is, is actually huge. Um, and I was talking to my cameraman, and we, we really thought that you could actually fit a shoebox in there. And the door space is also fantastic. It's very wide and deep, and you can fit a lot of items in there.
The overall interior of this uh, Raptor is actually really nice. It's very spacious as trucks go. I really feel like I've got a lot of room. Even the back seats seem spacious. Um, as visibility goes, it actually has pretty good visibility. Out of the back, it's okay. It's better than what you'd expect for most trucks. But the side windows and the front window, I actually have so much room. And there's a lot of natural light coming into this car. It does have a moonroof. Um, it's just got a lot of natural light that's coming in. And it's it's got a really nice feeling. Now, overall, like, interior feel as in uh, quality of things and kind of controls... It feels nice, you know, I feel like, as trucks go, again, as trucks go, I really feel like I'm in something that's pretty high quality. You know, the dashboard feels a little cheap, it's plastic, but overall feel, it's pretty nice. I'm actually really surprised. It almost has, it even almost has a sporty, uh, kind of, sporty feel, you know. A lot of, a lot of trucks are just like, they're a truck, and I think that this one is kind of unique. I really, I really like it. Right off the bat, I noticed sitting in the car that the pedals are a little bit odd. Um, the gas pedal is normal, but the brake pedal is a little high. I'm wearing boots, so it is kind of comfortable. But I, I think if you had a small foot, it would be a little tricky to comfortably have your foot on the brake. Um, but obviously that's something you have to get used to. Another thing that I think is cool is that I am at a tilt right now of four degrees, and how I know that is the car is actually telling me that on the little screen that we saw earlier. Uh, and I just think that's cool, you know. You don't see that much. I, yeah, it's just cool. So the overall feel, we just went over some bumps to see what it felt like. Um, the overall feel is pretty nice. Uh, it's a little dulled out. I know, have, having previously driven some trucks, they're actually pretty rough. And this truck is nice. You know, you can feel the actual body of it going over the bump, but it's dulled out, so it's not something like, oh, it's abrupt, it's, it's, it's refined, that's the word. We're gonna see what this Raptor actually has for acceleration feel. Um, we're pulling out to the road right now. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. You know, for trucks, it's got some nice pickup. You, it really feels like, it's a pretty large engine, and it really feels like it's pulling. Um, I, you know, having driven a lot of cars, the one that I can kind of equate this most to is it has the same pull feel as a Mustang GT. Uh, not in the sense that you're really getting forward, but you, the way your body feels when you're accelerating, it really pulls you. Um, the way the car sounds when you accelerate is okay. It has a nice low, low, low tone to it, which is nice. You know, you feel like you're exerting what the engine has to give you. Um, but it's it's nothing super special. Exteriorly, it doesn't. This car doesn't make a ton of noise, which I think is nice. A lot of people who are going to buy this car probably aren't buying it for what it sounds like on the outside. Um, and I, I think I think Ford's done a good job. You've got a big engine that doesn't make a ton of noise, which is something a lot of car companies are going for. And I think that's great. All right, we're going to come up here and give it a little bit of gas and see what it feels like. This actually, this has some great pickup actually, you know, it's not what you see in a sports car, but this is fun, you know, if you're going to get a truck, this is definitely a truck to get. I'm having a lot of fun driving this, and I've driven a bunch of trucks before, and I've never had fun driving one, and this is by far the most fun I've had driving a vehicle like this. Now, turning in this car, I am very high up. Uh, this car has a lot of sway to it. Um, but, as trucks go, this is actually fantastic. Um, I feel, when I turn, the way the body feels, is I just feel like I'm in a heavier, maybe, sedan. Uh, it's not like your typical truck. It's actually pretty comfortable with the turns. And it's not something that you have to, uh, like, kind of go easy on. Uh, it's not, uh, most trucks inhibit your ability to turn some corners at certain speeds, and this definitely doesn't. So another thing that I've noticed is I feel very high off the road, much higher than most trucks feel. And I'm not really that much higher off of, off the road. It's, I think it's just the way the seat is positioned and the way the hood feels. Uh, the hood is actually pretty high up. It's um, not in the sense it's blocking my vision, but it's cutting a lot off and it gives me that feel that I'm just like, really over the road. 
and it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I've been in a lot of trucks that feel too low, and then you've got this hunky body that you can't see around. I can see around this trunk truck very well. I can see the corners where both ends on the both ending corners on the um, hood, which is fantastic, especially if you're looking to park in a tight spot and stuff like that. Okay, so dr having driven this car for a little while now, um, the way I feel in it is actually surprising. I feel like I'm in like a very powerful car and I feel like others know that. You know, I don't like to say that with a lot of cars because I don't like to be kind of, I think of that as kind of like a kind of like snooty kind of feeling, but you know, it's, it's inevitable. You get into this car and you're like, I am in one big mean car. Um, I feel like I'm dominating the roads. And I, it's kind of a nice feeling. Even if you're not getting crazy performance out of this, it's a fun car to drive and you feel like you're driving something very mean. Um, so overall, it's, it's, it's fun. Uh, you know, don't, certainly don't buy this truck if you are looking to get just performance out of it. Um, but if you're looking to get something, uh, if you're looking, to, if you have to get a truck, this is definitely some, something to look at because this is super fun. I had a ton of fun driving this. I actually have a pretty natural bias against trucks just because I like low cars. Um, and I still had fun driving this and I was really surprised. I didn't expect to have so much fun. So if you're looking to get a truck, if you like trucks, if you need to get a truck, but you want something to spice up that everyday drive, definitely check out a Raptor. It's a fun car to drive and it has a nice feel. It's one of the most spacious trucks I've been in. Um, I just have great things to say about it, you know, nothing bad.